what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up my DJI Mobile Pocket. Wait, scratch that. What's up guys, Sean here. So today I've got an interesting video for you guys. We're going to do a tracking test with the DJI Osmo Pocket. Um, I've printed my fourth mount so that I can use it on a tripod. Um, and I want to show you guys this mount real quick. Um, this was, I got this off Thingiverse. And this I think is the best mount so far. Um, it's got a place, it's got a um, hexagon on the bottom. So I can put a nut in here. So I'm going to glue a nut in there over the weekend. Um, it also has a place for a hole for a charger. So you can put your uh, DJI Osmo Pocket on a tripod and um, keep it charged with a with an external source. Um, and then it's got this spot for the, the pocket to sit in. Now this isn't an action mount. You wouldn't want to put this on a selfie stick and flop it around because there's nothing holding the Osmo Pocket in this um, in this mount but the other piece of brilliance that I want to show you guys is he put a Arca Swiss um, bracket on the bottom so I have this tripod from, from Albot this is my favorite little mini tripod um, I can show you guys how big it can get um, it's just sweet. It's a sweet little tripod and it's so hefty guys. So my huge cannon that you're watching me on right now, can, it can hold this or this tripod can hold that cannon. Um, so it's just, it's just awesome guys. So what we're going to do today is let's put this back down. All right, so this mount, what it can do, um, how Arca Swiss works is um, they're these real strong steel um, type mounts and they clamp. So it's a clamp, clamping system. Um, and a lot of times there'll be little um, pins that will keep the camera from falling off. That's what these little rivets are for. Um, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take this, put it in there, Clamp it down, guys. Okay, good to go. Now we're going to take the DJI Osmo Pocket, um, and this just goes down in there. And it's kind of a snug fit, but it's not crazy. But just so you know, it's 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 in there. So I went in and formatted, um, and I think what we're going to do is we're going to take a panorama of you real quick. Now it says keep the device upright, even though this isn't upright, it's at an angle, hopefully this will still work. Cool. Alright guys, so the tracking test, I'm going to turn the camera around, um, and we're going to face that direction, and you guys are just going to watch me walk around, and we're going to look at the camera and see how it tracks, okay? So let's do it. Okay hey guys, so the problem with this right now is that I don't have any wireless connection to the tracking. So I'm going to see if I move out. Okay, so right now it's not tracking me at all. Okay guys? So there's a little hack where you recenter it. Let's see if that got me. All right, it's still not tracking me, guys. What's going on? Let's see if we're recording. We are recording. Okay, 
Let's see if that gets me. Nope. It'd be so much easier if I had an app, guys. Yeah, we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna recenter on my face to see if that helps. Now I should be in the frame, I would think. All right, so now face track is on. I don't know why the camera has to be in selfie mode for that to work, but I think I'd rather it be in selfie mode anyway but um, I really wanted you guys to see the video of it. So, let's see if it follows me over here. It's pretty good. It's following me over here. If I get up close to it, let's see if I can lose it. I'm gonna get way back here and see if it'll still follow me. Wow, it's still following me all the way back here, guys. That's pretty, that's pretty impressive. I like that. So, let's see if I go. Yep. Totally lost it. Now let's see if it finds me again. Nope, it totally lost me. Now this is the frustrating part guys because it, I mean I'm looking at the screen and there's a big square around my face. It knows where my face is, but all of a sudden it can't track me anymore. So I have a feeling that's something they're going to have to fix. Because nobody's going to want to come in here and recenter their camera, frame their shot again, and then start doing something. Let's see how far. Alright, follow me all the way around there. Now it's pretty cool that it's, it's tracking my face, but I don't know that I always look at the camera all the time. So let's say I'm, I'm doing something on my controller. Let's say I'm flying my drone with my controller and then I look up, oh, it followed me. So I'm looking up at the sky where my drone is, line of sight, flying, it's still following me. So, oh, nope, it lost me. Um, this is the fiddliness that I don't like about cameras. Some of these cameras, guys. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen the solo shot. Okay. So, I think there's a need for this camera, but I think it's going to be one of those cameras that is more annoying than it is useful. Like, this is a very useful feature if it worked 100% of the time. But just like my Panasonic Lumix G7, um, I do whole videos. I would talk to the camera for 15 minutes and then I'd go back to the studio and my whole my whole shot would be out of, out of focus. It'd be going in and out and focus would be like freaking out the whole time. This is, a, this is something where I would want it to catch footage, but if I was sitting there doing something cool and I walked over here and then I walked over here now it caught up with me but I don't want that jerkiness in my shot um, I think the tracking function is almost there okay guys it's still pretty cool so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at you right now and then I'm gonna turn around and walk that way and then I'm gonna turn back around and see what happens All right, so it lost me there. It needs a face. 
and once it loses you, it loses you forever. Like, how the heck can it not start tracking me right now? My face is like, I'm like in your face. So, that's buggy. If I recenter it, shoot it up to the sky and then bring it back down, then that, that's functional. But, um, but yeah, something else I want to do is I want to get a shot of the shot of the screen. So let's do that. <laughs> hey guys, it's looking at you. Whoa, that's creepy. Whoa, it's freaking me out now. <laughs> when uh, when I first got married, um, my wife would get freaked out about my Xbox Connect. Is that right? Connect? Yeah, it was my Xbox Connect because it was on top of the TV and the cameras would follow you around the room. <laughs> so she always thought people were, were looking at us, so I had to take that off the TV pretty quick. But um, And that's kind of how I feel now. It's like, what? I'm going to go over here and tell my Canon a secret. I don't know about that little guy over there. Yeah, I'm talking about you. I'm talking about you. All right, so we're going to move the camera. All right, it's got my face again. All right, guys, so now it's pointing to you guys. So I'm going to show you guys the camera. So let's say I wanted to come over here and give you a tutorial about the camera. This is... I don't even remember the name of my camera, guys. Where is it? So this is the Canon Vixia GX10. It's the best camera on the market. All right, guys. So it's really annoying that you have to keep going and back and double clicking on it. I'd like to try Active Track out, but um, but I can't Active Track myself because I don't have an app, um, and I don't know when the wireless functionality of this camera is going to show up. All right, guys, we're going to see if we can active track. All right, guys, so active track doesn't work if you don't have it plugged into the app. We're going to wait for the wireless adapter for that to, to work. This is one of those things, guys. I was really happy about. I was really excited about this camera, um, and there's just like, why the heck can't I attach it to my camera? Why can't I attach it to a tripod? I've got this is crazy, guys. But so, hope you guys like this video. Um, please like, subscribe to my channel for more videos on the DJI Osmo Pocket. Um, I'm gonna honestly tell you my opinion. Um, so, if you want an honest guy um, that bought it with his own money. Um, and I'm your guy. <laughs> um, I'd like to say I'm a fanboy, but I'm really not a fanboy of anything. Um, I enjoy tech that works well, um, and I like to use it. Um, so, you know, I mean, would you buy a car if it was missing a steering wheel? Or would you buy, you know, I get frustrated whenever, um, it's one thing to have accessories that are you know kind of upgrades but like common core functionality of every camera that's come out in the last 10 years it's been able to connect to your phone and it's been able to connect to a tripod so yeah so I hope you guys like this video <laughs> please like subscribe to my channel and have a wonderful day guys peace out